my D line sub is great. Only thing I had to worry about is I get Vic on that line. All right, let's lab it. Start with a couple formations. See what the will buck. So it's stopping the outside run. Be able to stop everything. Try to get this three four over down. I need the one where he comes into the inside, so that would be what crossfire. Just go random play. Obviously, we go baseline. It through let's see I know I got it on random play but it's some typical Madden they will just pick plays it Trying to send a pass rush and they run the ball. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Probably had to test it in a game, but practice mode. Test some other plays. Something's got to work. Something's got to work. We gotta find some money in here somewhere. Probably the outside linebacker. 
two. Let me see. Probably get rid of random plays. Obviously. This this shit should come through. And he would run inside. <laughs> Try to sit double edge. And then he quick hikes me. Come on, Matt. Stop with the, the shits. Okay, so I should be able to send my... Um, 4-3 blitz from this. Puts the safety on the inside. That's nice. And then I can just drop him in the coverage. Yeah, we'll do quick passes. Alright, so I go what? Third. Curl flat. And here you go with a jet sweep. <laughs> I'm trying to get a pass in. Stop running the ball. I should go like random pass. Yeah, I can get some of my four three blitzes in. I should go crash out. Oh, nice, 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 nice. So I could use someone like... I can use it like the 4-3 over. I'd have to use it in the same scenarios. I could, I could probably send a turbo right here. So I'd probably do like a middle linebacker flip or something. And we go with a jet sweep. Okay, so that is... I can still use it like against... um like symmetric sets where they don't have too many people blocking. So it, it gets through. So that's that's any fire zone too though. Like I I need something that is in fire zone too. I need to see some other stuff. Test against some iPhone Pro or something. That's single back. So iPhone Pro, let's try. All right. So idea here is it's two back sets. Move him there. I could probably blitz him and but don't blitz him. Okay, okay. Two back sets. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Let's get him. Just move him in. Blitz him, but don't blitz him. Too bad. Move him inside, blitz him. So this is going to be our stretch run defense. All I'm doing is D-line. D-line subs. So I got Crosby and Furrow with a nose tackle Hankins in there. So I can get my two speed linebackers off the edge. Could probably need to swap him out. But all they do is trying to... Ok, 
Okay. So two back set. It's gonna be our base call. Okay. Starting to figure it out a little bit more. Against. So single back sets, we could use like the zone blitzes. Two back sets, we need the heavy rush up front. Really just depends on who we're playing. I'm just testing a couple of them. So we got the heavy front. Just make sure we move him over. That's fine. Okay, we got an idea. I'm gonna sh finish editing the roster. For my secondary, and I'll be all right. We'll play some games, and then I'll tell y'all what I'm doing. Because, as you know, regs is competitive mode, so that means you're not going to suffer fatigue as much, especially on defense. Um, so obviously, you need to make sure that your best players are on the field at you know even given time so guys will probably be starting and playing back up in multiple positions playing back up in multiple positions all right kind of break it down for you fellas here in a sec all right let me get in chat feel free to ask questions So our D-line is set for us to play the 3-4. You obviously don't want your your Leo in that position. We're going to use Vic Beasley as our Leo. So our Leo, I mean our, which is going to be our right end, you're going to have Vic Beasley. And then the backup, you're going to have your power rusher. A little more strength on the line. Um, I think the only thing that I got now, like his defensive tackles, is um, This is the only position that I'm possibly need to change. I'm going to put Chris there. I just got to get my backup lineman in position. Would be all right. Mmm. Really, little ten or ten on you, so like we got, we got rid. We'll, we'll keep little ten. Fuck it. Just make sure we straight over here. Speed number one. Still labbing it, but I'm just gonna make some contendable audibles for that 3-4. Now 
All right, so heavy box. You can use either or. And I'll probably use the the quarters as my uh, light box single back. Cause the only thing I have to do is just base the line, blitz the linebackers one two three four, and blitz the mid read. Pretty sure, like a fire zone two. I only need to blitz one. So yeah, we're, we're I think we're straight. Just gotta remind myself what they're coming out in. The heavy blitz versus two backs. Solid zone blitz versus the single back. Just gotta remember that. And as always, you know, the offense going to do what the offense do. But we made a change on offense. Surprise. We decided to put Ruggs as our X receiver. Go speed on the weak side. Strength on the strong side. It makes sense, right? EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us at newly named State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. It's certainly hot outside here in the desert, but somehow this Cardinal crowd turned up the heat a moment ago. They were in a frenzy as their team emerged from the tunnel, and the Cardinals, they're set to do battle with the Las Vegas Raiders. The disrespect wearing the black jerseys when you're the Cardinals. What's up, Javi? Zane Gonzalez set and ready to get us started, and off we go now from State Farm Stadium. And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds, so really good starting field position up past the 40-yard line. Jacobs. He'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. down but not before he works it past the 50 12 yards there and a first down nah man you can't be getting in hell games with the Redskins bro they got a good defense but they offense is shit you should be able to make all kind of plays against that quarterback situation 
Nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, there's some good Redskin users now. Here's Jacobs on first and ten. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Yeah, you holding on to the ball to too long. Five. Here's second and five. Card out of throw. Throw it away. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Wow. Let's see what that's about. That's crazy. In the pocket, chucked it away, flag comes down. So you got to move a little bit, right? Know where you are on the field, have some awareness. Tackle to tackle. You got to get outside of that tackle box in order to get that done. So now it's third and long, because remember, they also lose a down on the grounding call. Madden, please don't do this shit to me today. Murray now on first down, escaping the pressure right. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. The pro bowler DeAndre Hopkins, the intended receiver. But it'll be second down. Murray's going to keep it on the option. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Throwing is Murray on third down. He'll set up the screen to Dre. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. And they'll get 10 there, but it leaves him just short for fourth down. And I believe that that gain on third and long changes things quite a bit because this would be a very long field goal. I wouldn't be surprised to see him go for it here. Feeling like they're not quite in field goal range yet. They're going to go for it on four. Now Whistles and the Raiders are going to signal for a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Too long for a field goal, too short to punt that in-between range, and they'll go for it on fourth down. They're going for it. It's Murray. And he's got Fitzgerald. And they're going to be I don't know why they just changed my... That pickup goes for 25. What a flip of the script from fourth down to first. Flush to his right. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. But following the sack, they'll try to change their fortune here on second and 13. Here's the first carry for Kenyon Drake. And this one also slow and developing as he's maybe getting back here to the line of scrimmage, but not much more than that. 
Murray gonna run play action with Drake. Nice deep. Throw it. The Raider defense strong on that one in coverage. And now it's fourth. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. His throw caught at about the five. Wow, Madden, really? We're doing this. As they try to finish off this drive with six points. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. Shotgun now for Murray. Forced. Murray has it knocked loose. Fumble. And a I swear to God, out. if that's a safety. And a big turnover there as he's wow. going to the ball back. <laughs> we'll give some credit to the defense. Wow. The play. Knocked the ball free from him, but that's a cardinal sin by the quarterback. You know where you are on the field. And he just gave up at a minimum three points. And instead of getting down. Wow. Two, wow. What the fuck, Madden? Really? <laughs> oh, man. This game. This game. This game. I'm missing easy passes. I can't afford to give up a safety here. That just would be bad. When they get back to the huddle, they have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. That's more like it. That isn't. And all the way to the opposite 48. No score after one on EA Sports. Settle down and get do what we do. Car to throw again. And he's got the hook up to Ruggs. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. Carr able to find rugs. That's complete. There we go. Now we're getting in the rhythm. Third down and less than a yard. He's playing at three. Try to run for it with Jacobs. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Well, they gave themselves options there on the third down play, and were able to convert on that RPO. Shows a lot of trust with the guy taking the snap, doesn't it? Because you're counting on him to make the right reads and give the ball where it's supposed to go. And he did on that play. Car now on first down. Good user. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. No gain there on the completion, second and ten. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. And he gets it inside the ten to the nine. His first catch, good for 14 there and a first down. Two minutes on the clock in what's been a scoreless first half. I think the smart decision here, eat these two minutes off. 
We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. Need, need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. seven on the completion but they'll still be faced now with a third and goal situation the Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts so as they take it over we step aside a big play forthcoming here's third and goal safe to say that he made the right decision that was a heck of a run it certainly was and when you mentioned the option most people think the quarterback's not going to keep the ball you know in the nfl that's usually not the recipe for being around too long so when you do keep it it often surprises the heck out of a defense Chasing the route. <laughs> so that's how you open a slant up. Okay. Let's start using that. Oh, I forgot. I got heat. I haven't tried him in a while. <laughs> I'm laughing with him. Now maybe opening the door a little bit there by allowing starting field position at the 40. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 44. From the gun, Murray. And that's complete. It's the tight end, Daniels. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. Oh, nearly a disaster there on the check down. But they'll get it back. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Murray looks to throw again, second and ten. Oh, did he hang on to it? He did on the dive. Nice grab. Now the card's going to call another timeout. Their second. As the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing on first down is Murray. Nice user. Tip there altered the ball flight and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. A second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. Again, they'll throw with Murray. And he's got the completion to Hopkins. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. A Cardinal first down, Murray to Hopkins. Murray to air it out again. Good day! Oh, he gonna rage quit. 
He gonna rage quit after that pick. He gonna rage quit after that pick. I would. Oh, 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 oh. oh, nice pick. Nice everything. He just picked it up off. Set to get this drive started and the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink oh! it. Oh! oh man! <laughs> he tried to use a blitz on me, bro. Just four seconds left in this We're taking these points. So with four seconds. Oh man, I'm firing on all cylinders. Let's go. We've made some points out of nothing, bro. Like, that's what I'm talking about right there. Still laughing. I'm going to have to low kick this. It'll be the Cardinals who get the ball first. They trail the even low kick. He can't even do that. In the third quarter. Certainly not what they wanted out of the locker room here as they'll start to worry about it. Forty yard line. Probably just had to squib kick with him. All right, so baseline. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first Four. and ten at their own forty two. Good D. Corey Littleton there on the tackle. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on it before he could get much out of it. Stay in. Nice. And nowhere for him to go again. Okay. Back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Murray's gonna nice, I like it. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively, and it likely forces a punt situation on. Nice. Oh, come on! He just like. Fuck, bro, we had that. That time, but now it's first and ten. Here's Murray. Good D, good D. This one is incomplete. Well, you got to think that sooner or later they're going to hit one of those, but the coverage has been excellent thus far, and it was again on the last play. Phoenix, Arizona is the spot. Glad to have you along for the ride. Third quarter action and a second and ten upcoming. Okay, so that's how you run this shit. You're the safety. Okay. I'm trying to use the linebackers. Two yards the loss and now third and twelve. Spread the linebacker and then just bring this guy down. And just shoot this gap. To throw on third down. Murray. Caught left side. Oh man. Go get a hit. The two -yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. I probably put like hard flats. Or soft squats. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. It'll buy some time right. Oh, this defense. I love it already. Oh, shit. The 3 4 are over. we going to make it famous. I'm loving it. It's confusing him. Here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by I the love it. And that was the position you wanted to be in coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. Got his man. That's Tyrell. What, 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 what? And oh, and we got some. Let's go. So they got some pressure, maybe hoping to get a safety, and they get roughing the passer. And gave up a pass completion as well. Nothing really went right on that play for them. They run it with Jacobs. And he'll get two, maybe three. Play our offense. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. And they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. 
Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. On third down, here comes Jacobs. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Two yards on the pick up there, it's fourth down. And in their own territory, needing only a few inches, they're going to line up to go for this thing on fourth down. Now they go Damn, for man. fourth down, but that pass is knocked away and incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it doesn't pan out. Then the Cardinals will now take over with excellent field position. Oh, look at that. He'll look to throw. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Corey Littleton coming in hard that time on the Oh, I done mastered this shit already, bro. Four. I done mastered this shit. The baseline. Before they can snap it, time runs out on this third quarter of play. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack. Just shoot the gap with this linebacker. Just like we would do in the 4-3 over. So, I mean, we ain't really, this, we ain't really skip the beat. It's just relearning. Out of the gun, here's Murray. Look at that! Who says you can't get fucking picks with linebackers? Who says you can't get animations? Fuck out of here with that bullshit. Don't believe the hype. Look at that. Linebacker got an animation, man. It's Jacobs to start the drive and taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Ten yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Seven yards to pick up there. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swing, slant, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Throwing again on second down. Carr. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. Carr with a play fake to Jacobs. Look at there, boy. We tearing him up with this hit. And he is going to have the Raiders. He's about to quit, bro. He can't stop it. Oh, man. It's the first shutout we've had, bro. Using the 3-4 over defense. Made him rage Wit. I think we figured it out, fellas. This is a big tip I'm about to give you. So. Y'all ready for the tip? I said something about it. And then he was ranked, so that's good. Alright, so. Here's how you run. And it, the coverage to play really doesn't matter what you pick. As long as you know the style that you're picking, okay? So, like, let's say they're doing single back, but they don't have, like, it's not, like, really a compressed set, you know? It's like single back, slots, doubles, you know, anything with a slot receiver. They don't have a lot of people in the box, you know, that can block or whatever. You're going to, you're going to, um, I'm just going to go right here just to show you what you what you're looking for. 
it's, it's hard to explain it, but once I tell you guys, it's going to open your mind up. You're going to be like, oh, okay. So with the 3-4 over, just like the 4-3, here's the, it's, it's really about your play call. So if they have two back sets, you're sending these these five man blitzes, okay? That that are up the middle, like sting pinch zone, crossfire three, um, the wheel buck. Those are those are those are pretty much what you're looking for. The five man blitzes that are like up the middle against two back sets. When you get double edge heat off of. If they come out in one back sets where they can't or situations where they got slot receiver or anything, you're gonna come out in like the uh, the zone blitz like this, the outside linebacker zone blitz, or you can play this uh, trio like zone blitz trio and like quarters, I think. And you can blitz out of those. You just have to reset them up to be the same where you have double edge heat. And then you'll blitz one of the zones in the middle. And then you'll use her one of the other zones and possibly shoot a gap with it or, you know, occupy a gap. So, I mean, I know it sounds weird and you're like, what? I mean, it's just easier to kind of just be like, hey, this is what you're going to do. And then once, once you get it down and you understand it, I guess... You can understand that concept. So um, we might actually change our audibles a little bit. Because I don't necessarily need. I'm, like I can have my two short zone, deep zone for the two backs. And then short zone, deep zone for the single back. If I want to blitz from there and then just use over edge for my cover one. Like I could probably do it from this defense too, but. This doesn't this this one is more along the lines of something that I'm still working on. I'll have to do some manual subs with it. So I'm not going to use this just yet. This is going to be our manual sub defense, but uh, three four over. I don't really use the contain. I could. It just really depends. Like we can come out in the fire zone two or the trio and then we have our two blitzes that we'll use yeah that would be all right. I gotta get more reps with it because I mean that's just one opponent I, I gotta make sure that we're comfortable using this over the 4-3 over and we still got our 4-3 under I mean we're not abandoning ship on the 4-3. I'm just trying to learn this 3-4 scheme that Gus Bradley has. Even I mean, I got five guys in the, you know, on the line, so end of the day we're going to be all right. And then not everybody's using the 3-4 over. Like you can go look up videos for 3-4 over and I guarantee you won't you'll barely find any. <laughs> Nobody uses it. So, it fits my theme of using a defense that isn't quote unquote meta. And it works, you know, so just trying to adapt because I need to get a lot of reps in. This is the defense that we're using in Madden 22. This is Gus Bradley's defense. So we need to make sure that we understand it completely. That was crazy, man. I was getting picks with linebackers like they were, they were safeties. I got an animation pick. With Corey Littleton at the middle linebacker. Let's fucking go. Don't believe the hype, man. Don't let these folks just sway you away from playing the game the way it's meant to be played just because, oh, they're like, oh, you have to have safety. No, you don't. No, you don't. You don't got to have safeties. Safeties can't block shed, so when, when they start running on your ass and you're in that 3 3 5 and you can't do nothing, don't be like I didn't tell you so because I did. Three, four, five, six. The National Football League is on the air. 
The atmosphere here, electric. No matter the venue, the home folks love their silver and black. They are fired up as their Raiders get set to face off with the Baltimore Ravens. And we are underway at Allegiant Stadium. And boy, a rough start to this one as this kick goes out of bounds. second down. Jackson. Flushed out right. He'll run it. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Ravens have taken the early lead. And the Ravens lead at 7-0. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This is taken just shy of the 10. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. First carry for Josh Jacobs, and he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Now a carry for Jacobs, and not much. Maybe a yard up to the 29. 
Back-to-back -back runs, I'd say that encompassed maximum effort for minimal gain. Minimal yardage, and now they're going to need something more than minimal on this play coming up. Throwing his car on third down. He'll let this go deep for Ruggs. And that's caught inside the 35. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Henry Ruggs, 71 yards. And the Raiders, they're within an extra point of tying this thing up. And he showcased his blazing speed on that one. Was he wearing football cleats or track spikes? <laughs> because he was gone. Big time play. And just think about what that does if you're a receiver on the team with him. Well, that's got to open things up for you as well because if I'm a defense, I've got to get back deeper and deeper in order to keep him in front. But I'm not sure how many can actually keep him in front with that speed. And he'll get in. And they take an 8-7 lead. Well, they got down 7-zip. They said, we'll go for two, one up you, and they take the lead. How about that for a little risk-reward, right? If you don't get it, you're only down a point. Let's go ahead and make a statement in this ball game, and that's exactly what they did. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it down. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And now last drive so successful with the ground game, ending in a touchdown. Do you stick with that formula? That would be the number one thing you would think of, but so many guys now would look at it and say, we've got them set up so well for play action, now's the time to take a shot. Yeah. But, you know, there was a big-time coach in the state. Well, he's free going down the oh, left side. It's it a don't foot race. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Lamar Jackson, 63 yards. And the Ravens have retaken the lead. And he's able to put it through. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Taken from about the 12. And able to get this out to the 25. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Car going to throw. And he'll find Moreau here. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Working from the gun, it's Carr. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. They'll come up now on second and a yard. Here's Carr. And he's got the hook up to Ruggs. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. A quick throw there out to Williams. Not much there, only a yard. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Car to 
to throw again. Throw right side, complete to Williams. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. On third down, Jacobs. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down yeah, at the yeah, 36. We step aside here in this second quarter. Looking to throw again on second down. Carr, the action here with Nelson Aguilar. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Seven yards there at a first down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coaches. Two-minute drill. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. going to leave him with a third and about five. just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Here's Jacobs. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. Back at the two now, here's second and goal. timeout defensively after that first down play so they're going to make this offense sweat out half number one back to the running game with Jacobs and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage now a timeout taken Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So now it's third and goal. This Raven defense trying to keep him out of the end zone. They'll run with Jacobs. And he's in. Touchdown, Raiders. Josh Jacobs in the final seconds of the first half. And the Raiders have drawn even here. They can take the lead with the extra point to come. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that will give them the lead here as we get on towards halftime.
So with three seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. with the lead already and they will get the football here as the second half is now underway this is taken just shy of the 10 and he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20 the Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive we have not seen much on offense from either side these last few drives it has been a struggle hasn't it totally and you're thinking to yourself right now if you're on offense trying to get things figured out okay we self-scout every week in our game plan how many things do we do at certain times what are our tendencies time to go to some of those tendency breakers and try and create some offense they always have those in their back pocket don't they? you have to and if you don't keep abreast of what you're doing you lock into a rhythm and make it easy for the opposition looking for tendency breakers right now now throwing on first down and completing it. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. On first down, it's Jacobs. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. tuck and run and they're in better shape now for third on third down it's Jacobs and brought down but not before he was able to break the tackle and the extra effort moves the sticks give him the third down conversion five yards on the play First down, Carr. Reception here by Ruggs. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. From the gun, it's Carr. Throw left side complete. That's Jacobs. And he's brought down after a very nice gain. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So now Carr, he'll lead the Raiders up to go for two. They'll try to run him with Jacobs. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. An incredibly short kick fielded way up there. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. 
The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because I, they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see how determined they are. They go play action now. Jackson. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. LaMarcus Joyner with a pick. He had his eyes on the end zone. He got close. Holla at you, bro. Fuck off this field. Look at their five yards passing allowed. I can't make this up, bro. This 3-4 over might just be the move, man. Look at this. Passing yards. Lamar Jackson shut the fuck down, bro. <laughs> this 3-4 over might be the move, man. Fucking the pass rush is there. I've got edge heat. I can finally kind of contain the rollouts a little bit better than just the tradition. I mean, I'm still going to run my 4-3 over. Don't get me wrong. But that's two games. I think we're dialed in on this 3-4 over, man. I'm just thinking this might be the move. Might be. And then we're playing smart on offense, keeping the audible no huddle system going, keeping him, keeping him out of his comfort zone, making him switch his defense on the fly. They can't adjust. I've got all my audibles set, my full playbook at my disposal. If I don't like something, just get out of it. EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome in downtown New Orleans. The setting in this dome just serves to amplify the excitement of the folks in New Orleans as their Saints burst from the tunnel a moment ago. They're set, and we're set as well as the Saints get ready to do battle with the Las Vegas Raiders. Kicker for the Saints, Will Lutz has it teed up, and here we go from New Orleans. And that one bounces out of the back of the end zone, so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Now Carr to try again after the pick six. Blitz coming and down he goes. Credit that sack to Marcus Davenport. So if we recount real quick, he had the touchdown earlier, and now he comes up with the sack here. No doubt about it, he's having himself a game. At 
after the sack on first down. Carr to this man. That's Tyrell Williams. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. A good pick up there. 13 yards as they get closer for third down. Jacobs and he is going to have the Raiders first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two and they have the first down with that gain of four yards now Carr over the middle he's got Tyrell Williams and he'll be taken down but not before he works it past the 50 a Raider first down 17 yards sack of the afternoon. Okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. Now well, following the sack, they'll come up here on a second down and 12. Another try after the first down sack. Mariota, and he whips that one incomplete there. Henry Ruggs, the intended receiver. And it'll bring up third down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Got his connection complete to Ruggs. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Henry Ruggs. 49 yards and the Raiders they're within an extra point of tying this thing up all the receivers in the league are plenty good enough otherwise they wouldn't make it in the NFL but the ones that go to the Pro Bowl they have refined route running ability off the option that's complete and he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it now. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at the 34. He'll set up the throw. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. A safety with a sack there. LaMarcus Joyner. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Off the play fake to Kamara. It's Breeze. He's got his all-pro receiver, Michael Thomas. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A first down there on a pickup of 25. You kill. You kill. A first carry now. This is Alvin Kamara. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. leads this one with Camara, and here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36 so from the 36 now first and 10 on play action now Breeze gets this to a standout receiver Thomas and he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15 22 yards on the catch and run a first down
Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Oh, now it's free. Hill fumbled it. And the Raiders have recovered. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B, one starts with an S. Ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in the meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you've got defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you. Now the pressure comes, and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Craig Robertson just would not be denied. That's a loss of 7. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And he'll be out of bounds right around the 14. That catch good for five. It's third down. Well, it certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense. And guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you got a heck of a tight end candidate. On third down, Mariota. And he'll find Moreau here. Yeah, this defense rallies, and they stop him short of the first down right near the 24. And now the Saints are going to take a timeout on defense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. this one now in their own territory a gutsy call they're going to go for this on fourth and a yard they go with Jacobs and I don't think he got there he did not they stop him a yard shy so certainly an interesting call there to go for it and it'll be a turnover on downs Now a first down carry, it's Kamara. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Running with Kamara. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. Only gets three yards there on the heels of the one-yard pickup. Sets up third and six. Just that first read that you have, maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Fourth down, Hill remains on the field as he'll go for it. He may try and run for this. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he shorted the line to gain. Brandon, let's file this play away for later. Let's note this play because, to me, it's not out of the question that the decision to pass up the three there could come back to heart them later on. Now this one is running back out of the backfield. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Call. Williams and he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down getting it to him in space pays off big time that winds up going for 31 we remind you that coming up at halftime we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman he's in Orlando and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report Throwing on first down, it's Carr. And he's got the hook up to Ruggs. And down to the 20, he'll go before heading out of bounds. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. 
My goodness, they've come out locked in on this drive. Play calling, execution, they are fully in sync. Three straight passes, three first downs. They're moving the ball downfield almost at will. This defense really struggling to find answers. Into the red zone, it's Carr. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. but they'll still be faced now with a third and goal situation. To throw its car. Fourth down after the New Orleans defense holds serve. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. Fourth down, and on comes the Raider kicker, Daniel Carlson. From the left hash, a chip shot here. The kick by Carlson is good. And the lead grows to four. It's 11-7. Still a little bit of time left here in the second quarter, but they do get three before the half and expand that lead. And they have to be happy about that. And we haven't met a team yet that doesn't put an emphasis on trying to get points on the board in the last two minutes of that. Now a hit and a loose football. A good looking return set up here. And careless with a football there on the kick return. And one thing I love about going to practices is trying to get around coaches and hear their catchphrases and what they really emphasize. We haven't been to a single one yet this year where a guy fielding a kick, you don't hear, tuck it away, tuck it away, tuck it away. And this time, they turned it over. Ball security eluded him. Carr now on first down. Now he steps away. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Carr, and that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. Henry Ruggs, the intended receiver. But now it'll be third down. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. He hit his first. Now this from 43. The kick by Carlson is good. And that will do it for this first half. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. The Saints going to go on offense first, and they trail here as we begin quarter number three. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And on the last drive, they were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change? Rush coming, and he's taken down. Raekwon McMillan coming in hard that time on the blitz, and he gets him down. It's a loss of four. To try again after the sack. Breeze. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. Seven yards on the play, and it'll be third down. Over. 
shotgun now for Breeze. We'll get this one underneath to Kamara. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 14 yards is the pickup. First down, New Orleans. Now Breeze. On the check down, he finds Kamara. Not able to go anywhere that time. Second down. They'll run. This is Kamara. Five yards. Now it's third and five. They stop him a few yards short of the first. Bree's going to go on fourth down. And my goodness, this is incomplete. The Saints' decision to go for it. Boy, I'm loving this fucking 3 4 over, bro. Loving it. Car and the Raiders come up first and 10 at the 41 yard line. Bro, it's work. Well, it's working for how I got my depth chart set. Like I've been locking teams down these last three games, bro. It's. I definitely feel like it's better than. I mean, I love my four three over, but you know, I'm, I'm trying to adapt for next year. We're not going to have the four three over. Once again, it's Jacobs. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield after a gain of about four. It should. I mean, you know, 314. You got big defense, big linebackers. Only thing is, you need coverage linebackers. So you got to reset your scheme a little bit. Like the way I have it set is my linebackers are on the edge are fast. But they, I mean, they're strong enough where they can kind of, kind of shed blocks a little bit. But so the face mask, quite a blessing there, as they'll start out of harm's way with a first and ten. That's stupid. We're not going to run at Cam Jordan and let him block shed. Here's Jacobs, able to spin free. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Carr completes it, and all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Jacobs on first and ten. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. And the tackle there by Quan Alexander. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Throwing on second and eight, Mariota. He'll get this underneath to Jacobs, and he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first and goal. They'll run it with Jacobs, and he's in. Let's go. able to extend that advantage a strong determined run there Charles to get in for six points this is okay he don't know how to use it bro no he's using three four eye bro almost trite but the blocks were made up front offensive line collected victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield and how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone 
Oh, we almost got through there. Now he's not using the over. He's using the odd. I'm using the <laughs> the three four defense. No one uses. <laughs> the kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. I should have squib kicked it. Oh, a mistake there. A kickoff out of bounds. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. The single back will go fire zone too. So we already got some turbos for the 3-4 over. So that's nice. That was the big, the big thing. So Bree's gonna lead the Saints up here first and ten at their own 42. And he'll start with a give to Camara. And taking it across I bring the safety in. inside the 45. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. Oh, we tried to jump it! That got anyone over there? <laughs> I tried to jump the rock. have cut it back within a score and what a weapon he is at the tight end spot because when they throw him the football downfield they count on him getting additional yardage almost every time and that's exactly what he did there caught that ran with it all the way to the end zone and just take our time on offense no need to force anything after the touchdown Lutz to kick it off And they will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Now the bad news for them, they've seen that cushion they once had totally evaporate, and they're working from behind. The good news, they now have the opportunity to regain the lead right back. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. On first down, Carr. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A Raider first down, 17 yards. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Oh, no, he lost the football. Come on, turn around. Wow. These guys will set up shop at midfield at the 50-yard line. CA for you. where team football gets tested a little bit because I know the defensive guys were over there chilling on the sidelines and all of a sudden they heard the sudden change call because that fumble puts them right back on the field and they've got to go out and finish the game now themselves. Absolutely. Nursing that slim lead here in the fourth. A costly turnover. And he'll go down but not before getting this inside the 30. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. The penalty moves him into the red zone here on first and ten. Following the penalty, it's Camara. They stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. Well, I hearken back to the first half, Charles, and I see the look on your face. You're thinking the same thing. They had that opportunity to take the three. They went for it on fourth in the first half, didn't get it. That could loom large. So if they had taken the three, successfully kicked the field goal, they'd only need a field goal now. That's what, that's what we were talking about when we mentioned it on that drive. 
So it's Saints football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Again, it's Kamara. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. They follow up the first down one yard run with a minimal gain of two. Tough day, tough sledding right there. And it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. Three timeouts. Don't expect him to blitz. Been playing a lot of cover four. set to get this drive started they only need a field goal obviously the clock a huge factor they'll be watching that what do they need to do here Charles your sequence of plays has to get you out of bounds completions get out of bounds gain some yardage then when the clock hits seven seconds or left now you get a decision are you in field goal range or is it Hail Mary time because from seven what seconds down you don't want to take a shot that you're going to have another play we'll see how they handle it and it drops down incomplete Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. Carr with a play fake to Jacobs. Now a desperation throw. They need to start throwing a flag on that, man. We need to start throwing a flag on that. When you talk about making winning plays, that is a winning play at this stage of the game to come up with. That should be rough in the passer. I like how you like, identified clearly. that because most people think winning plays are the offense trying to get it done. In this case, nursing a lead, they found a way to make a play on that side of the ball and maybe finish things off. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. He's going to run again, fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. They need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. And here comes throw number one for the backup QB. They'll set up the screen now to Kamara. And he's going to get this inside the 30. And now with four <sighs> seconds left, we get a timeout call. I gotta fix your penalties, man. Because if that ain't rough in the passer, I don't know what is. And it has to start with believing 
That shouldn't even be throw out a sack. That's rough in the passer, bro. Clearly, I was already, already threw the ball off. Ball's already thrown. That's rough in the passer, bro. I got to start calling these things, man. You stop making everything throw out a sack. I don't know why you got my lineman turning him around towards my quarterback of that, like the tackles. I'm not blocking over there on that side. Yeah, they need, they need to start throwing flags, bro. Got to start throwing flags. It's unacceptable. Other than that, my defense is doing all right. I like the 3 4 over. I like it. Probably could sub in a little bit more um, speed, possibly. But Littleton was making some clutch tackles. I could probably change out my middle linebacker for a little bit more speed maybe it really just depends what I'm trying to do I think I could probably put Morrow here but we don't have that acceleration acceleration is key strength helps too so I'm trying to think a little time so Morrow has more strength than Littleton does. He's faster, more agile. Acceleration's E. Awareness about the same. Doesn't have the same change of direction. Better catcher. Better jumper. Could use that for usering. Hmm. Might use Bilal. It's got better. It's a decent tackle, decent hit power. Can't really rush it. Pursuit 81. He can jump. Catch rate not very good. Everything else. Hmm. You get like 60 plus on the catch rating. He'd be alright. Shouldn't have lost that game. What time is it? Uh, probably one more game. And other than that, you know, the 3 4 over is doing nice. Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. The atmosphere here, electric. No matter the venue, the home folks love their silver and black. They are fired up as their Raiders get set to face off with the Dallas Cowboys.
clash of two of the more fervent fan bases around. The Cowboys and the Raiders are underway. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. carry for Josh Jacobs. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Here's a second and two now from the 33. On play action. Now Carr. Eluding the pressure right. He'll let this go deep for Ruff. He's got a man complete. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and ten all the way down at the 35. Try the end around. Williams is going to have the first down. And the oh, look at that, fellas! <laughs> the end around for the touchdown. Williams, 35 yards, and the Raiders have taken the early lead. Throughout the game, we're going to track so many different statistics, but one is becoming increasingly Ooh, he on in vogue. Explosive runs, runs of 20 yards or more, and we just saw one right there to open this game. Now we'll see how the other team responds, because when you get a play like that against you this early in the game, you got to feel like your back's against the wall a little bit. Yeah, the pressure now increases on you because your first thought is... Ooh, he went snorkeling. <laughs> the dive, yo. it away and off it goes an incredibly short kick fielded way up there and they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30 hmm <sighs> So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 33-yard line. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately... So if you're blitzing, you use the D-line sub. You got three running backs, so obviously... The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Prescott now. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good one. Blitz coming, and down he goes. These strong safeties, some people may not realize it. It's really like an extra linebacker, right? It really is, because they're hybrids. Half linebacker, half defensive back. The linebacker in him on that play emerged. Bro, why I click off and he dive on the ground? Bring in the second screen. Touchdown, Cowboys. He's just so gay. Cowboys are within a two-point conversion of tying up the game. He's got it, so they take just the one here, and that makes it an 8-7 game in the first. the touchdown at Zerline. He'll kick it away. And a 
fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. They'll try a little trickery here on the end around. I don't think anyone in the building fooled right there as that one is going to blow up in their faces. Call it a loss of six on the play, and it'll be a second and long. Car going to throw. Got his man. That's time. Oh, my God. Really? So we're doing med. Two running backs, one tight end. The first down carry by Elliott. And down inside the 15 he goes. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. considered they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them here's Allen. he pushes forward for maybe three down to the six yard line third and short yard oh, look at that look at Littleton getting these animations Linebackers getting interception animations. We love it. We keep him right there, man. He's making plays for us. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. Yeah, last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. you got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the yeah, football yeah, doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. Second quarter from Vegas. The home standing Raiders with a football here. As they've got it with a first and ten. To throw his car. That's caught by his tight end, Foster Moreau. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Jacobs now. And he's going to be met the line of scrimmage and taken down no gain on the play there second down on play action it's Carr and he's going to be hit and taken down back right around the 48 yard line Alden Smith the former number seven pick gets the sack on third and long it's Carr That's Jacobs. And he'll get this to the 40, but that's still going to be a few yards short of the first down. They'll go for it. It's Carr. Got his connection complete to Ruggs. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Fourth down, no problem. Just a ho-hum pickup of 14 to keep the offense on the field. Back to the running game with Jacobs. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Seven, 
Throwing now is Carr. Got a man over the middle. It's Williams. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 13-yard line. You got to fix quarterback speed behind the line of scrimmage. A small bit of adversity here on what's been a strong drive as they come up second and 12. Another try after the first down sack. Carr. Can we not just block him? Like, seriously? You're just going to let contain Disney disengage. It's a cool mad. Gonna let contain disengage and I'm not gonna speak on that. So now Carr and the Raiders dealt a third and long after that sack. Shotgun now for Carr. Beautiful. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Derek Carr on target to Tyrell Williams. And the Raiders add on to their lead. As a former defender, I would be angry as well could not get off the field well executed offensive drive no matter what the defense tried they couldn't stop them so now Carr he'll lead the Raiders up to go for two they get this out left that he is into the end two possession game we good the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away keep forgetting to squib hey, oh, kick that's what he's gonna want back a poor kick it heads straight out of bounds also if we're playing stock coverage which we're not Good starting position for the Cowboys here as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. Prescott to throw it. Looking left side and he's got a man. It's Elliott. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag. But you caused the play. You did it. I had to. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Here's Prescott. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And finally, down he goes. He's going to stop. Inside the 10 to the 7. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. And he'll take wow. it into the <laughs> zone for a Cowboy touchdown. That was so glitchy. Taking it in from 7 yards away. And the Cowboys draw a bit closer. People always talk about one of his biggest strengths running the football vision, and he found the spot there, went into the end zone. You're exactly right about that. It wasn't just the vision, right? Once he saw the gap, decisiveness, made up his mind, and about the power to finish the play. Not only did he get good blocking, he created his own space as well. Come on, pick your play. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. 
And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. They go over the middle, and it's complete to start the drive. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. They fake the handoff. Now Carr. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. That one a first down pickup of eight. Talk about a big first half. Already has the two touchdowns. Adding to his receiving total there. Picking up the first down. He's coming off the line so fast. I think he's intimidating the defensive backs with his explosiveness. And he's chipping away at their confidence. Throw right side complete to Williams. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. one fly toward the back of the end zone and that is out of the back of the end zone incomplete Henry Ruggs the intended receiver and that'll bring up second down well the first two drives yielded touchdowns so there's no reason for them to feel like they have to pull back on the reins they pushed it downfield looking for another one right there didn't get it but we know they're going to continue to be bold Try it again on second down. Looking for his running back, and he's got it. Look at that. And finally out of bounds all the way down at about the two. A big play there just before halftime. 42 yards. Pocket presence. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. Here's Jacobs, and he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Only a yard that time, second and goal. One more time with Jacobs, and this time he is in. Yes. Josh Jacobs, as the first half is winding down, and the Raiders add six to their lead. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want to do things on offense, and your defense feels much better too, having that lead. They'll try to run it with Jacobs. And he will get into the end zone again. And he seems to have a nose for it as he gets both the touchdown and the two-point conversion. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. And they'll be set up pretty nicely here as they have it up to the 35-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. And Look at that. This is intercepted. My goodness. Picked off right around the 43. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half.
A good starting spot for the Raiders as they come up first and 10 at their own 46. So after the fumble recovery, it's Carr. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. Jordan Lewis right there on the coverage. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. That works. And now this will be the final play of the half as with no time remaining, they'll try and add two more to the lead right before intermission. And they don't get it. They tried for the two-point conversion there, but unsuccessful. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. It's the Cowboys who get the football first, and they trail here as well as we resume action in the third quarter. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And last time was a pretty one play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. And this is going to be a Cowboys first down as good running gets him to about the 44. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive. He's playing a, a lot of heavier front lines. the game there second down what terrifies defense is when they see slant routes thrown is that the receiver is on the move and oftentimes he catches it and gets upfield has a really nice job rallying to him and stopping him for a minimal game Cole three still playing good on the play back at the 45 yard line it'll go down as a two yard loss and it brings up a third down but these guys got to chop into that deficit they got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage will be found. On third down, it's Prescott. And there is Amari Cooper's mm. first catch. And he takes it all the way down to the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Second down and three with right around three minutes remaining in the third quarter. Three's all around. They'll try to run it in with Elliott. And this will result in him losing yardage back to the three. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. They'll try again with Elliott. And he is into wow. the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys get a bit closer. Now Mike McCarthy saying, let's go for two. They'll let Elliott try and run it in. And he will find the end zone again. So he gets the touchdown and the two-point conversion. And that'll cut this deficit down a little bit further. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Now 
The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. On first down, Carr. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. From the gun, it's Carr. Reception here by Ruggs. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Give them 12 yards that time at a Las Vegas first. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Working from the gun, it's Carr. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Eight more yards this time coming off back-to-back first-down pickups. To throw again on second down. Carr. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 35. on the carry. Good pick up on first down. <laughs> Operating from the gun. Carr. Catch is made by Hunter Renfro. And he'll go down here right around the 20. He's dying this man up. Back now in Las Vegas. Welcome back, everybody. It's the Raiders with the lead and the football here as we get ready to start quarter number four. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Tackle there by Leighton Vander Esch. Throwing on second down. Mariota. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Third down, Mariota. Come on. Really, Madden? So, my goodness, I would have thought this possible not too long ago, but that turnover there means we have a game again. Yeah, it's been a completely different team here in the second half. I just wonder on the other side of the field where the starters telling the backups, get ready, you're going to get some playing time. And now, guess what? Hope they didn't cut the tape off of their wrists and ankles. They've got to go back out there and play. But I can't jump that route. Side taken in here to start this drive. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. 14 yards. Prescott down. He's going to find Gallup here complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Throwing. Prescott. Got a body right there. What he playing the ball. Get him down as he's inside the 40. Another nice gain. 13 yards that time, and another first down. Prescott. 
Prescott yet again. Got his man there complete to Gallup. Let's just slow my guys down for no reason. Cowboys. Michael Gallup, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And now the Cowboys are within a two-point conversion of tying up the game. So they got the touchdown they needed to cut this to two, but now they've got to get back to the huddle. No celebration time. Got to figure out what they're going to do on the two-point conversion. They'll try and run it in. And he will Stupid get reach for me. For two. And this game now tied here in the fourth. Dude, stop. So here comes the kickoff now all even here in this fourth quarter. Gave this man an unnecessary interception when I had him beat to the outside. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news. Plenty of time. Give the man a block shed. Three man rush. Block shed. Come on, man. Let's don't do this. Tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards. The loss. Second and twelve. And he's got the hook up to Ruggs. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead them to third down. to Ruggs on the jet sweep. Oh, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. They go with Jacobs. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. On first down, they go with Jacobs again. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Partner, you got about That's why you don't play dollar defense the whole game. But there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. On second down, Jacobs. And he will cross the 30 down to the 29-yard line. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. Carr going to give it to Jacobs. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. When people talk about plays being blown up, that's exactly what they're talking about. That's exhibit A for physical play. Good job. Taking the lead in the final seconds. So it's not quite over yet, but you have to figure they pretty well got this one on ice now. And Brandon, I'm trying to figure out 
how they remain so calm in these situations and then go out and execute because <laughs> I'm up here shaking like a leaf and I wasn't one to make that kick. Way to close that game out. Shit. EA try to help this man. For no reason. He ain't deserve that. They will run the ball. They will pass the ball. Defense got turnovers. Gave up some bullshit turnovers, but... Look at my efficiency. 90%. Only one that turned the ball over was Mary Yoda. <clears throat> on that bullshit. Car was flawless. Pretty much locked Zeke up other than that bullshit reach for it touchdown. Tyrell with a 35 yard end around. But Jacobs had three catches for 71 yards. Sleeper. He gave up unnecessary containment sex. Containment should not work if they pinch their D-line in. They should get pancaked. That's one thing I'm starting to see. People pinch their line in and then they contain and they just glitch inside. I don't know. They need to fix that. We got a sack. And two picks, so can't complain there. Clock management, clock management, clock management. Where's the score summary? Look how much time, look how long I held the ball. That's how you win games, fellas. 12 minute possession time. That's how you win games. Just win, baby. Always score when you're in the red zone. Conversions. Third down conversions I need work on. I wonder if they have that as an actual stat. Because I don't always have that play for third down. He had more rank points than me. He just probably rage quits a lot. Like, mm -mm. how you got more gains than me, but you can't score more than me? I got like twelve thousand more points than this guy. I think everyone that I played against, their 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 points aren't anywhere near mine. 
Not offensive yards. Average. That's an average, guys. Some games I have way more than that. Got to work on my defense. On defense. It's like everyone's defense is worse than their offense. Look at the passing yards. I got like damn near double his passing yards. And I, and I got more rushing yards than him, bro. GG. turnover differentials that's actually good you want your defense not on the field longer than your offense so that's one thing that I'm very good at so we've got a lot of games as the Bucks and Packers and Seahawks I think probably next year, like, I'm going to play, like, five games with each team. And then stick to my Raiders after that. Hmm. I think overall, though, I, I like... What y'all think, man? Put it in the comments section. What y'all think? Y'all like the 3-4 over? Need to go back to compare. I'm at 52% on my conversions on third down. Nah, man. I couldn't do it, bro. Like, I don't know. I, I, I couldn't. Like, I mean, I'm not going to sit there and. I couldn't do it. It would be unfair. I mean, I'd probably be better, but I, I'd keep this Chargers defense, though. I'm starting to like the Chargers defense. It did take a little while to understand and under, like, that's, that's what was the thing. I'm going to go lab it here real quick so that y'all guys can see what I'm, see what I'm doing. Nah, I like the challenge, Mike. The 99 Club. Pre-order Madden 22 now. And choose from one of five 99 overall players to add to Madden 21 today. Wow. Nobody plays Madden 21. You got like two months left in the game. Nobody plays fucking mud anymore. Well, it's not it's not necessarily even, but I I'm starting to like this shit. I just gotta I'm um, probably come down with the audibles or whatever. I'm gonna I'm gonna lab these audibles because I could probably do more with it. Because, I mean, it's just as effective as my 4-3 over was. But the one thing that I noticed that my 4-3 over couldn't do, it has... You have your speed linebackers on the outside. So, in my case, I have Jobin White and Nicholas Morrow playing the edges so they can drop into those seam flats and they start rolling out with the quarterback they can defend that possible route over there and then they can also engage to the quarterback you know if needed that's one thing that kind of stood out for me um and what i do is i go to the d line like if i'm if i'm sending double edge heat i go d line sub if i'm not 
I just leave it as is and um let Vic Beasley get in there so a good example like if I play a cover like any of the stock the stocks I like have cover six cover two man cover four quarters cover three match cover two hard flat cover three buzz like if anything like that where the guy the defensive end is the rusher then I'll kick keep Vic Beasley in on four man rush situations but other than that if I'm not doing that then um, I'll put I have Cleveland Farrell and Max Crosby in there rushing but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to lab this engage eight and see what we got like that's gonna bring him down to the line in other formations like okay so it works with the cover three but the issue is you gotta run it flipped and you gotta blitz with this guy So the engage eight trick isn't working. So it's very good run defense. Inside zone, you got to bring that safety down, bro. Anytime you're dealing with an inside zone. So just bring a fourth man down and use her that gap. And it just locks everything up with the run fits. Or you could like keep the engage eight and then... Run it like that. Have the two men on the outside. And then probably since I'm sending that many, I'll crash down. And then just shoot the middle. Just lab it. Alright, so the engage eight, there's not really I'd have to I'd have to lab. The only thing maybe Crossfire 3 is a no. Sting Pinch is a no. So it's not going to work with those blitzes. It might work with like the quarters. Let me see. Like a quarters. Maybe Trio Sky. Let me just uh, let me double test. Comes down to the box. Audible the trio sky. So he stays down in the box, which is good. Stays down low. So that way I got two guys low on both sides. Comes down low. Audible. Okay, if there's a receiver over there, he's not going. He's going to back up. Need to test it against. Um, really, there isn't anything too much that I would run it with so I might not even use that unless we go into over it we audible to over edge and then have I know edge has his safety drops and then audible to like Sam crash maybe I don't 
Let's try. He's moving so much. Only thing about practice mode that I hate is <laughs> they won't let you do the um, the anticipatory player movement, pre-snap movement. So that would mean that my gap is over here. So I'm not going to use the engage 8 from that. What if I do it from the over edge? See, the over edge is unique because it uses three defensive ends. Stop. So I can go from over edge, and then if you do like the CV swap, it's like a defensive end flip, but it gives you a defensive tackle on the inside. And that would put Cleveland at nose. And then look at this. You could put your, on defensive end flip, you can put your premier pass rusher on the inside. Oh, bro, this is like a glitch. Let me audible to the... Look, we got Beasley right here. We got Farrell on the outside, so we need to go. It looks like a 4 3. We got the linebacker. Bro, what? Oh, I'm tripping. Does that does that not look like the four three over? I mean look look at how they're lined up. Does that not look like the four three over? That means I can get that 4-3 over turbo. Let me see. They're going to do jet sweep runs. Let me do that again. Alright, so he comes down in that formation. And keep in mind that's Littleton, so... Okay, so now, bro, that's yo, that's the four three over. All right, let me. You can move out hella wide and got the defensive end over there. It's glitchy, but. Only thing that's glitchy is that guy. You can't move him around. You <laughs> get your defensive end out here on the three point stance. And just let him rush. Fuck it. Three point stance from out there. That's so glitchy. <laughs> Let me change these packages.
Alright, so let's fix this again. So obviously. Go C B C B swap. Then audible. All right, so yeah, that just like that we have the. Even though it says three four over, it's a four three over, and what you'll have to do is you'll have to uh, manually sub your. Premier Russia right here for the other side and probably put like a a defensive end like Carl Nassib or something in there he could play right there and then you can have all your speed guys so Big Beasley could stay right there but put Carl, like Carl Nassib right here and then that would make Javin White your will he could play the outside still and then we still have Morrow, so that's probably what we're gonna do. That's that is the four three over that we even though we're in a three four over, all I think that I have to do is like I would blitz this guy, obviously. And um if I did my crash out adjustments that I could still get, you know, my OG turbo in there. Um if I crash that side and blitz that linebacker. I can, I should get the the A gap turbo. So look at that. So we technically yo did they um Mike did they add any more new plays? Alright, so here's how we're going to do this. This guy needs to be a rusher. He needs to be. We need NASA here. I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think. We need to keep, keep thick Beasley's right there. So we're going to have to put an actual defensive tackle here. And if we put NASA here with our depth chart. Javin White should move to the linebacker position. He does. Okay. So he automatically moves in position. Just like that. Okay. So we got NASA, a subbed in defensive tackle, Cleveland Farrell in there, and our 3 4 over edge. Okay. So we can come out in it, any play. It doesn't matter. And then audible to the 3 4 over. Trio Sky, and bam, we have our 4 3 over. Um, even though it's a 3 4 over, but all we have to do now is the line crash. Slide linebackers. Just trying to remember everything. I don't know, let's try. Let me put him in a zone. Man, I hiked the ball. I'm trying to trying to remember all the blitzes that I used. I had the cover two. I would have to switch. I'm trying to think. Switch to my cover two blitz. Cover three blitz. And 
then. Try this from different formations, you see. Also, also I need to know um he auto flipped, so it didn't flip. Obviously gonna have to do this with a base align. Right, so if I do it with a base align. Trio Sky. Slide D line to the left. That's so glitchy. Spread the linebacker out and you can't move him. Pinch linebacker in. I'm trying to remember the the blitz. This guy was supposed to be playing a curl flat, if I remember, like a seam flat curl flat. If I remember everything right. He played the mid third. And he played the curl flat on that side. So that's the four, the way the 4-3 over will blitz looked. And I'm trying to remember. I used to take the D-line. Move them left and crash out. And I should get out wide as fuck. The only thing is do the outside linebacker too. Yeah, it's easy to just take the safety, go down the middle. What the fuck? Well, they said, that, what, did, did you check every book? I'm liking this 3-4 over. I don't think the audible method is there. Stock three four over is nice. It's, it's it's flipped, if you would. It's kind of flipped. Obviously gonna blitz him. All right, getting through there. So we get back out of here. I think just stock three four over is good. We just got to get the audibles. Got to back out so that I take away the um, manual subs. I hate the manual subs because once you put them in, you can't override them anymore. They would fix that to where you your, you know, where you set your manual subs in for your base, and then you could still use your packages. You know, that would be nice. But they don't have it set like that.
Look at that. I like it. See two guys deep. Go cover three. Take the mid read on the strong side. Look at that. See how he's kind of spread out. Look at it like a single back. See, I need the um, I need a straight coverage. Like I'm not gonna play cover one in this defense. I need a straight zone, zone blitz. I'll probably take the sting pinch out. And use the fire zone too. But for the meantime, we'll set it up right here. Get the double blitz off the edge. And then we'll send this guy across the middle. Oh, we got a defensive tackle, Nano. Whoa, I want to look at that again. Bro, look. I can't make this up. Look at that, guys. Unblocked. I can't make this up. Look at that. Unblocked. Let's uh, test that again against other formations. All right. My quarters crash in, blitz the linebacker. Blitz both linebackers. Crash down. Look there. Before he even hands the ball off in the jet sweep. Crash D-line out. Reblitz both outside linebackers. Pinch D-line down. Don't don't shift them. Just pinch them down. Move this guy right here and then just shoot straight down. Homie came off the edge that time. Alright, let's see. Pinch D-line down. This is the cover three, so we'll, we'll switch to, back to the cover four in a minute. Just like that, crash D line down. I'm not getting a lot of yards. Let's go back to the cover four. Cover four. Crash D line down. Blitz both outside linebackers. Move him like a little bit. He doesn't really have a lot of space to run. I need to test it against that shotgun. Go cover four quarters. Crash the D-line down. I'm going to let him stay in that quarter flat. I'm going to get him like right here.
You can do a lot when you bring the safety down in the box in. Think about it, you want a five man rush. So we can send him. Trying to remember how to clear shifts. This has been okay. D line clear shifts. I don't know, I can play with it a little bit in practice mode. I mean, it doesn't always come through in practice mode, but you can really confuse people. You want to play for him? It'd probably be tomorrow, man. It's so late right now. You know, I'm about to go to bed here in a minute. I'm just laving this up. I played pretty good with it on my games today, so definitely might, um... Let's see if we can get off the edge on this. Tackle's just gonna take the guy on the edge. So you could probably use that to manipulate. Like if you send him, you move him out and then just hesitate. You know that tackle's not. Oh, we got a glitch. Okay. Now we talking. Now we talking. Okay. You're gonna blitz him and move him out wide. You probably bluff blitz at him and just kind of hesitate. Look at that. All right, again, move the linebacker out wide, and then just sit right here and hesitate. You trying to play, Justin? Try this again. Move him out wide. Look at that. So that's all you gotta do. That's easy. Easy adjustment. Um, I'm gonna run this flipped. I don't. Right, move him out wide. Like he's in coverage. The tackle's gonna go after him. Look at that. That is so freaking bro. Let's him move him out wide. You can do whatever you want with the D line at that point. You can crash him in. Go to the go heavy to the strong side. And then that tackle's gonna pick him up and then you just turbo as soon as that tackle kicks out. Look, boom. Look at that. <laughs> That yo three four is cheese though. Look, you find well you're not gonna be able to do it against that formation. So you go to the sting pinch and then do the safety blitz. Hold up, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. I'm laughing, I'm laughing, I'm laughing. Thought you said you were giving up on the game. What up, man? Alright, so. You want to run it flipped. Move the linebacker out wide. And if you want, you play the mid third with him and do it with a faster guy. You bring this guy down in the box. Wait for that tackle to kick out. Or whatever he decides he want to do. Alright, let's get, get some lab work. Alright. Move him out wide. Pinch that D line. We can actually send this guy. He's going after me. Look at that! 
Look at that. We confused the tackle to come after us and we didn't even blitz him. Look at He just came after me and freed his gap up on the run game. Nice. Alright. Let's do it over here. All you gotta do is move this guy out wide. He's gonna kick out, but... We got picked up that time, but... Not gonna be able to do it against this formation, so we go with our heavy run blitz. Good D. Alright. You wanna go to the this weak side of the formation, just move him out wide. And we could probably play this curl flat. I don't get picked up. Look at there. Look at that. That is so freaking easy. Alright, do it again. Run it run him out wide. Ah, uh, he if it, he almost he he almost he, he ran into the running back. Probably if you have a better pursuit linebacker, it'll work a lot better. But tackle picked him up late, so I could have fake engaged that tackle instead of running in. That would have been that would have been a that would have been a clean sack. So just do it again. Move him out wide. And then we can just sit right here and just fake engage with the tackle. If he didn't do a run play. That would have been a, that would have been a clean cut sack. I'm gonna flip, make sure he's blitzing. Get him out wide and then just kinda occupy his tackle. Look at her. Oh Obviously, you play a human opponent, they're gonna run around in the pocket, you know, and it's gonna ultimately be their demise. So, let's crash the D line to the left. Maybe that'll help. Yeah, they would run the ball. Give it up. Let's go. Huh? All right, so I think I think what's happening here is practice mode is adjusting to what I'm doing. Y'all know how it go. Yeah, practice mode is adjusting to what I'm doing. But let's try it from this side. I could probably blitz him and then send it like this. Occupy the tackle. How is that tight end picking that up? Come on, that's so, yeah. The game's starting to recognize what I'm doing. Because he wasn't going to get picked up, bro. Who's going to block their number one tight end and send their number two tight end out on a route? Fuck out of here. Madden, no, they wrong. They be cheating. <laughs> and that's, that's, what, that's another reason why I have Waller as my number two. Just so I can lab and test and show the bullshit. Oh, look at that. He is covered. Take it to the house. Ooh. But the games that the, the three games that I played today. Send them out super wide. 
bring the curl flat in and just occupy try to occupy sometimes he'll do it sometimes he don't I guess yeah Let's do it like that. Really? <laughs> this game, bro. Yeah, this game's starting to adjust to what I'm doing. It's hard to really come in to practice mode and make things happen and then try to showcase it for so long. Like, it worked for the first couple of plays, and then after that, it just, it, was, it makes it look like it doesn't work because they don't want you to know about it. But I think we ran it enough that we might be able to try it in a game. And then get our results in the game. We'll probably play tomorrow, fellas. I'm tired. I need to get some sleep. Appreciate y'all watching, though, man. That 3-4 over might be the move for us next year.